Hey guys, it's Uncle Admin here with my two dogs on the walk on the meadows. Rocky and Pluto. Rocky is a brown one, Pluto is a black one. I just take a moment to tell you what we are going to do today. Back in February, when I was a guest on the VMware podcast, Eric and Matt point out that I'm missing some content on my blog. And that content was uh, Kubernetes and the Tanzu. And today is the day I decide to fix it. And we will be talking today about the Tanzu Community Edition. Tanzu Community Edition is a full version of Tanzu, same as the Enterprise one. But it's free. It doesn't have enterprise support, it's supported by community. But again, it's free and it's great to learn. It's great to start with Kubernetes, with containers and with Tanzu. We can run and we will run that from our laptops or desktops. There's only one thing we need, which is Docker. So I will show you how to install Docker, how to install Tanzu Community Edition and how to create an uh, unmanaged cluster. Unmanaged cluster, again, great tool for learning Kubernetes. You can create them, you can tear them down, you can create again, you can do the multiple options, great for learning. And you can learn your kubectl or kubectl. Now, you tell me which is correct in the comment section. Is it kubectl or is it kubectl? Again, let me know down below in the comment section. So yes, guys, uh, this is the plan for today. Rocky and Pluto are excited. <laughs> I see Pluto. I don't see Rocky. Where's Rocky? Yeah, let's do it. Back in my home lab, I already downloaded Docker from docs.docker.com. And if we go back, as you can see, there's a version for all platforms. Um, that's for Linux, MacOS, and Windows. As I am on the Windows machine, I download the pack for Windows. Okay, so let's start installing uh, Docker. Now, it may take a few moments, so now please use this time to click like and subscribe to my channel. Okay? Uh, I go for coffee, but you stay, you don't go, uh, because I will use the magic of editing and that uh, installation will be finished very soon. Okay, as we can see, installation succeed. So close. Okay, um, as you can see, Docker is running. And now one very important thing, we have to go for settings and Kubernetes, and we have to enable Kubernetes. Apply and restart, click install. So now once Docker is up and running, as you can see, let's download Tanzu. And we're going to the website tanzucommunityedition.io and once we click on the link we have this option download latest release and we can see that we have all platforms macOS, Linux and Windows. Also the vSphere OVA files can be downloaded here but this will be for the future video. Let's focus now on the Windows machine. So let's click on it. And in the few moments, we will get that file downloaded. Okay, let's unzip it. And double click on install. Of course, the message 
um, protective message, click on more info and run anyway. Now again, it will take a few moments, so please use that moment to click like and subscribe. So it looks like it's done. Uh, one more thing, um, guys, if you want, you can add Tanzu to your environment variable, so it's accessible from everywhere. How you can do it? You just click on the edit the system environment variable and environment variables. I already add Tanzu over here. The other option is to copy the Tanzu file to see Windows and the system 32 paste in here and then you have access from everywhere. Right, so let's start with Tanzu. Let's open Visual Studio Code. You can use PowerShell or command line and um, it doesn't matter really. I just like the terminal over here and let's type in the keyword which is Tanzu. Okay and we see a few options over here and we will focus today on unmanaged cluster. It's deploy and manage single node static Tanzu cluster. And I just copy that because I intend to make mistakes in typing. Um, let's have a look. So Tanzu and manage cluster. Now, what options do we have? So we can see that after we put Tanzu and manage cluster dash H or dash dash help, we see all the options we can use. Um, and as you can see uh, that Unmanaged Cluster has a few aliases UM, UC, Unmanaged and it's very nice to have it because I always make mistakes so I can use just UM and then I don't need to type full unmanaged-cluster Ok, but what we want to do is to have a look if we have any unmanaged um, environments Let's follow that guide um, Tanzu Unmanaged, we are using Alliance List And we can see name, provider, status, nothing Which means we don't have any clusters So, how about if we create one? What do you say? Yeah, let's do this uh, Tanzu No Unmanaged cluster Again, I'm using alias, create, but what now? Let's put dash H and see what options do we have. Okay, so to create and manage cluster, we need to put keyword create and the cluster name. That's okay. And then eventually we can add the flags. And as you can see, the flags are explain, explained here. But for now, we don't need to do it. So we do the Tanzu, uh, you see, create, and let's call it test Tanzu01 and click enter. And this process will take a moment, um, so please use this moment to click on like and subscribe to my channel. If you don't do it, I will visit you and delete all your hard drives. I will format your hard drives. So click on the like now. Thanks. Okay, and as you can see, the process finished and we have a, a few hints over here what we can do now. So let's, um, let's have a look. Um, Tanzu, you see, list, and we can see that our uh, unmanaged cluster is ready. Let's use now Q 
cube CTL or cube cattle. Okay, let me know in the comment section which is correct. Um, two, see, get. As you can see, it's a single node running Kubernetes, which is great because we didn't spend much time to build in that environment. It's ready for us to use.